What's good, everybody? My name is Slimeball AP. For those of you who do not know, I am an artist and super entrepreneur. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build an organic fan base. Number one, keep it real and be relatable. Your audience, number one, will connect to you a lot more. You never want to project a lifestyle that your audience can't connect to. It's not going to be too many people who can relate to a, a lavish lifestyle Whereas some people can really relate to the struggles and the hardships because everyone goes through struggles and hardships. So target that broad audience instead of a small, significant audience who doesn't live that lavish lifestyle. Also, you never want to fake being something that you're not because once you do get to that level, your audience will see right through that shit and you're going to be exposed and you just don't want to be one of them. Just keep it real. Be you. And your audience will fuck with you for that. I mean, I just keep it real. Be me. My audience fuck with me for me. I try not to fake it. I be as real and authentic as me as possible. And it's gotten me pretty far. So just be you. I promise you. You know, people are going to fuck with you for that. And you'll stand out for just being yourself. Number two, utilize your social media. And look, personally, I'm not a big fan of social media. And I know that may seem crazy to believe because I'm always posting. But it's because I have a fan base and I have an audience to reach and connect and keep building because I'm not where I want to be yet. So I have to utilize my social media platform. I have to connect and I have to post on these platforms because you never know what platform will take you to that next level. For the longest, I remember I was telling my little sister, she was like, get on TikTok. You should go on TikTok. These people, they doing this on TikTok. And I was like, no, I'm not a TikTok fan for so long. And y'all, I kid y'all not. The first time I posted on TikTok, like my shit started going viral. That's why I actually saw the quickest growth so fast. So as soon as that happened, I'm like, oh shit, now I got to get on TikTok. So utilize every platform. Like I'm active on Instagram. I have a fan base on Instagram. I have a fan base on TikTok. I have a fan base on Facebook, Twitter. So just keep all of them involved in what you got going on because you never know what platform can take you to that next level. So utilize your social media. And also don't overthink with the post. Just utilize and look and see what your audience and your fan base is connecting with most on your platform and just keep doing that and mimicking that or mimicking what I'm doing or other successful marketers and, you know, YouTube, you know, creators are doing. Because if it's working for them, just mimic what they're doing and it'll most likely work for you. You just put in that work and effort. Number three, and this is so, so important. Be consistent. So many people out here, they'll start doing this. You know, all the tips I'm giving out, they'll start doing it and then they'll stop. It sets you back because it's so many people who like you'll build that momentum. But if you just stop, you know, it's like you fall off. So just build that momentum regardless what you're doing. Keep posting content because people will forget about you if you stop. So you just need to keep pushing that content. Keep putting it in people's face because no one truly knows who you are you know as an independent artist there's still so many people who don't know who you are yet so you have to already go in with that mind frame is nobody knows who I am if you don't know who I am boom this is who I am you just have to give it that because so many people they'll take all they post off have zero posts and then when somebody goes and actually talks about you they can't find none of your work like if somebody wants to be like hey I got a bro he do music go check him out you go and you look and check out his page, you know, you're like, damn, I see nothing. And even if you're not active on that platform, somebody else can be active. And you never know when someone can be discussing you, trying to network and build your name and your brand. But you're nowhere to be found because you're not consistent. You didn't post this. You didn't post that. Post everything. Stop holding back. Don't overthink. Just post and be consistent. And again, like, don't be narcissistic. Sometimes it could, you know feel that way it really is anxiety taking over you're not chris brown you're not beyonce you're not none of these people and if you want to get to that level you have to humble yourself enough enough to know that nobody knows who you are go into every scenario introducing yourself so therefore you're always prepared if nobody knows who you are every room and every situation you step in by the time you leave they need to know who you are so be consistent number four give your best at everything you do whether that be creating music, whether that be creating art, whether that be creating makeup, whether that be selling products, you know, give your best quality because your real fans will notice when you're you're not at your highest, you know, you're giving your best. If you've given them your best before and you're like, oh, I got it, and you just slack off, 
they will notice and they will slack off too. Like, they'll be like, nah, I can't rock with you. The reason J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake are so big is because they always give their best. They're trying to make each album and each song better than the last. So their fans keep loving them. You feel me? So you have to just give your best because your fans will definitely notice that if you don't. Also, take your time to perfect your craft because a lot of people try to rush the process. But every artist, if you just go and watch their interview from Drake to J. Cole to Kendrick, they will tell you it's a journey. And you don't want to rush that journey because it's so much that you will learn through the journey. Like through my musical career so far, I've learned so much in such a short span of time just by taking my time. I've been doing music, creating music for five, six years now. But just to change so far as me changing my mindset, but learning all that I've learned throughout those years, just in the change of my mindset these past like year or two, it's been insane. The growth. You know, but I had to learn all that I learned from each year and it took me to where I'm at right now. And still, you know, I'm elevating and learning, trying to learn something new every day. So it's so important just to take that time to perfect your craft because it will pay off. Trust me, hard work does not go unnoticed. It will pay off. Remember this. And finally, number five, connect with who connects with you. I see so many artists make this mistake is where they'll have supporters, you know, and fans, a whole fan base. But they don't respond or interact with them. There are people who will comment on their post or put fire and they just like to comment. Like, you need to tell this person thank you or something. They did not have to comment on your post and show you love and engage. Like, I always try to go into it every post and scenario thinking that I could get zero likes, you feel me, on my post. But I wouldn't be mad. I would not be upset because I know that no one has to like my post, has to support me in any shape, form, or fashion. It is up to me to put myself out there in a way that's going to draw my audience in and make them want to support me and my movement and everything that I have going on. So remember, stop being entitled. No one has to support you and go into every situation thinking like that, and it will humble you. You will really take it to the next level and just always just go into every scenario not expecting to get something. Just learn. Just sit back and listen sometimes. You know, a lot of people, they want, want, gimme, 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 but... Sometimes you really have to sit there and learn those lessons and you'll understand later why in life and it all just aligns together. So be patient. You feel me? Be very, very patient. Connect with who connects with you. Stop being judgmental. Stop not supporting your supporters. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, they treat their supporters as like strangers. You need to know every single person who's supporting you. Like when I go and I have a show, I need those same people come in and support in me so I need to go back and support them so they feel that same love and they're always going to want to support me that's how you're going to get a real organic fan base without the gimmicks none of that you have to build a relationship so if I have somebody who I've never seen comment on my post I try to go on a page I follow them first of all if they're following me I try to go and interact if I'm liking what I see I'm not going to fake it but if I like what they see if they're a creator too I'm definitely going to tap in I'm going to interact hey I like what you're doing I like this this that and that and they're going to come fuck with me off the genuine me hitting them up because keep it real, not too many people are doing that. So with you taking that extra step in that initiative to build a relationship, you already have a genuine connection right there with that one person because they want to see you grow because you want to see them grow. So it's just you both win. It's a mutual relationship. And too many people, they want to be a leech. They don't want to see somebody else win or take it to the next level. I want to see everybody win. Let's go. You feel me? Let's go up together so we have a strong team. You know, you're only as strong as your weakest link. So just remember that. You need to build authentic relationships. You need to DM. You need to like posts. You need to comment. You need to save. You need to engage with other people if you want them to engage with you. Don't expect nothing that you're not willing to give to other people and that you're not willing to give yourself. That's just real. You feel me? People, they want, uh, don't get me started on record deals, but people want money. People want so much in life. But if they're not willing to give that to somebody else who they know deserves it or or put themselves in a position to get that and strive for it, then it's not going to happen. And they don't deserve it, honestly. You feel me? Good things happen to people who put in the work, put in the time, put in the effort. A lot of people don't see the behind the scenes shit that happens when I go and I create my music or I create my graphics or I invest into myself. They don't see all the, the downs. You feel me? Because it... It can get crazy. Entrepreneurship is not easy. You feel me? It takes a lot of investment. It takes a lot of trust. 
It takes a lot of intuition. It takes a lot of grind. And it takes a lot of effort. Otherwise, you will fall off like these other people, regardless of what you do. Just be consistent. Be real. Connect. And utilize your platform. And that's all I got to say, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Again, my name is Slimeball AP, artist, super entrepreneur. You can follow me on all platforms at Slimeball AP. Check out my music. Check out my merch. We got the merch going on. Link in the bio is love. Slime, we out.